Hello guys, Yako here, and today I'm gonna show you how to get true stretch res on Valorant, and also how to convert your sensitivity from 16x9 to 4x3. Uh, let's just get into it, right? So first of all, what you're gonna need is the same program as before. Uh, you're going to need WinXP. Also, you're going to need Vibrant UI. Uh, WinXP is gonna remove this border that you will get on Valorant, and Vibrant UI is just to change the resolution, and I'll show you how to do it just in game. Once you're in the Valorant menu, you're gonna go over to settings. I'm gonna go over to video. And we're gonna change the display mode to windowed and the expect ratio to fill if you don't already have that checked and apply. Once that's applied, uh, we can go back to the menu and then we're gonna run both programs that I mentioned before, WinXP and Vibrance GUI. With both of those open, what we're gonna do? First of all, you're gonna use WinXP to go over to Valorant over here Go to style and sh uncheck the WS border. That's going to re uh, remove the border from Valorant. Now we're going to go to size and position. And on window states, you click maximized. That's going to maximize the window. So now you have full screen, but in windowed mode. Now on Vibrance UI, we're going to go over to add, click on Valorant. And here is the vibrance level. You can increase this. Uh, this is going to give your game more colors. You can increase the colors of your game. This is a very good setting to use. I use that myself. And here is the part that's important to us. Change resolution when in game. We're going to check that and we're going to go over to the resolution we want. Check the Hertz. See if it's correct. Uh, stretched. It has to say stretch over here and then you click on it in case you don't have the resolution you want to use in these options or it doesn't have the hertz correct all you gotta do is go over to nvidia control panel once you're in the video control panel go over to resolution change resolution right here and go over to customize in customize you're gonna create custom resolution and here you just create your the resolution you want with the hertz you want test it and then once you're done it's gonna show up here and once you're done with that it's gonna show up here on custom once it's in customs, it will also be here, but you got to restart Vibrance. So you got to close this and redo everything on Vibrance GUI in order for you to get the resolution over here. So my resolution is 1440 by 1080. So I'll just use this one and then save and click on the game. And magically, there you go. You got stretch res now. Now, let's go over some of the problems that uh, people were having with the uh, Vibrance UI and everything from my last video as well. So the problem that we're having is Vibrant UI doesn't work for me or it's not opening. The way to fix this is you got to go over to the Vibrant UI website and before you download Vibrant UI and install, you have to install drivers. Even if you already have Vibrant UI on your PC, it's OK. Just go over the website, download the drivers, install the drivers for Vibrant UI to work. That's all. That's one of the problem fixed. The other one is this one. When you run the range or you start a game when it's in the loading screen right here valorant will definitely change uh the setting that we just changed to fill on the video tab to letterbox again which will give us the black borders on top and bottom the way to fix this is simply press the windows button to get out of valorant it's going to minimize the game you go over to vibrant ui click on valorant uncheck the change resolution in game and save go back to valorant this time it's not going to change the resolution go to video again fill and apply you just have to do this anytime this happens in game. If you if you just started a game and this happened, you just got to do this again. Go over to Vibrance again, double click Valorant, check change resolution, save. And once you click in the game, you will have your stretch res right back. These are the two most common errors I saw on my comment section on my um, last video on how to to get true stretch res on Valorant. Um, now, how would you go about changing your sense? Because you're changing from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3. So to change your sense, you're going to have to convert your Valorant sense to CSGO sense. Why we're doing this is because CS has a predefined number that's going to help us transfer the Valorant sense to CS and then from CS to Valorant 4x3 directly. So how we're going to do this is we're going to get our Valorant sense and multiply it by 3.18. That's going to give us a number that we're going to divide by 3.3735. I did this myself and my sense on Valorant used to be 0.45 right here. And what I did was I multiplied by 3.18 and I got the number 1431. That's my CSGO sense. That would be my CSGO sense. I took that number and I divided by 3.3735 and that gave me 
this ends right here 4.24 i saw this on reddit at first i didn't believe i didn't think this was actually a thing and once i tried my sense actually feels the same as it did before if you want to change your sensitivity to be the same as before stretch res here's the way and you don't have to do anything else this is pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh have a good one peace